G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh Whittacombe and Johnny I Vegas. Did it. <laughs> I did it! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a twat and he's under some carpet <laughs> in Taylor Park. He, 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 he always shouted at dogs. Sorry, <laughs> God. I made sure to make eye contact. <laughs> I was going to go down the back, but I thought, I want you to fucking know who did this. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I won't send a wank over a nun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I used to, I used to piss in the bath and pretend I was, <laughs> pretend I was James Bond and it was acid. <laughs> and I used to sit there and like work out how long I'd go without giving them, you know, telling them the answers to everything they wanted to know. <laughs> anyway, let, let's do this. <laughs> Off your chest. It's nice to share it with a live audience. <laughs> All right, go on. Oh, I'm sorry. G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh Whitty. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so oh. sorry. I was holding it again. And you know, all he did no, was... No, I'll do nothing, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, this is going to no, take forever. I, ex I, ex I expect you to smell of piss, Mr Bond. <laughs> Why am I crying in the promos? I saw a bloke catch a cap and put his penis in its mouth and I told no one. <laughs> he should have lost his fucking rod licence. I <laughs> 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 should have at least wrote a strongly worded letter to the Angling Association. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Balls deep, he was in. <laughs> and you know what fish are like? They look shocked enough, don't they? <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the natural environment. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Teletubbies. I used to have night. Yeah, Teletubbies. They're joyous things. Blobby is evil. Right, it's the final question of the Big Fat Quiz of the 90s. And to ask it, we're honoured to have one of the decade's most iconic stars. Please welcome. Apologies, Jack. Mr. Blobby. Oh. <laughs> Genuinely distressing. Um, oh. ah. Don't do that. Oh. Ah. How what the fuck were you allowed near kids? <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Oh. Be Mr. Blobby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so resigned. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true you had an affair with one of the Teletubbies? <laughs> 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 That was an anecdote about nailing one of the telly <laughs> Now, Mr Blobby, you've got a question for us. Tell us a question. Oh! Just 
Kiss. Just ask the question. Kiss. Kiss. Do the question. <laughs> just jump. Just, <laughs> just do, the, do the question. <laughs> do, just do. Just ask the gone. question. Tell me when he's gone. <laughs> so, so the question's in three parts. Okay. The question's in three parts. One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the second part of the question. <laughs> okay, I'll recap. Okay, so what Mr. Blobby is asking you to write down is the UK's best selling novel of the 90s, the highest grossing film of the 90s, and the best selling album of the 90s. <laughs> there are two points for each one, that you get correct, and ten bonus points if you get them all. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, you're here! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Blobby can give you a clue. Unless the film is Blobby, Thank Blobby, you. Blobby. Yeah, I get you, I get you. <laughs> yes. No. You don't help no. her. Blobby, Blobby. I. That's the one. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. I can't believe you got me with it. I have them. Right, write down your We've answers. We've got it. We've got it. Write We're down your answers. You got the answers? Yeah. Pens down. No, Pens no, down. No, Pens no, down. No. Pens down. <laughs> it, Jimmy, it's like you're on Blob Station. <laughs> okay. Phil, Alan, what have you got for this? Uh, Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> What else have you got? Titanic. <laughs> All right, yeah, Poker Face. <laughs> poker Face, that's what they call him. And the album is... Uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory by Oasis. <laughs> Jack and Denise, tell me what you answered. Oh, the, just, no, Titanic, no, just... Bridget Jones' Diary and Oasis, and please, can he leave? <laughs> OK, Dara and Claudia? We went uh, Bridget exactly. Jones' Titanic with Michael Jackson. We got confused. We were distracted by Mr. Bobby. I'm loving it. I'm loving it under a shit. Is the happiest I've ever been in my life. <laughs> this guy is a legend. OK, so I can tell you that the correct answer is Bridget Jones' Diary's best-selling book. <laughs> Titanic, highest grossing film. What's the story? Morning Glory, highest selling <laughs> album. <laughs> You're right. And you get a bonus ten points as well. Well, that's the end of the quiz, Mr. Bloody. Go and get the trophy. Go and get the trophy. It's that one. It's that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The winners of the Big Fat Quiz of the 90s, Phil Jupiter and Alan Davis with 42 points. Yay! Here's the trophy. <laughs> Robbie, give him the trophy. Give him the trophy. Yeah! Give him the trophy. Oh, His eye's fallen off. <laughs> His eye has fallen off. Robbie's <laughs> <laughs> down. He died. <laughs> A big thank you to our sadly deceased Mr. Blobby, our amazing panel, all our special guests, and thank you for watching. This has been the Big Fact with the 90s. Good night. Whale, it's a whale. And it begins with a B. Blue whale. <laughs> Let me have another look, Stephen, because I'm pretty kinds, sure I got it right. There are other kinds of whale that begin with a B. Uh, uh, there's bum a whale. Bull there's whale. a bowhead. Big whale. What's the big most whale. famous and expensive kind of caviar? Beluga. Oh, beluga, beluga whale. Beluga whale, yes. There one is. Look at it, that was going, hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> and the beluga whale, no! <laughs> hey! He's... It is all I can do! <laughs> He's very chirpy. They have no dorsal fin, and amazing. They... I haven't got what? a dorsal fin! <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel the cold. I don't feel it. <laughs> they don't because of their blubber. It's all the blubber. And they have, <laughs> they have midriff blubber, which they can control. Human no panels, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
they control their love handles with special <laughs> muscles so that that's how they move around and that's how they, that's how they, you know... That's how I roll. That's how they roll. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Oh, they move up and down. Yeah. OK, it's a tradition on the Big Fat Quiz of the Year for the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School in Neasden to produce one of their unusual school plays for us. What I want you to do is have a look at this, tell me what they're reenacting. I don't like you anymore. Good, give me all your money, Dan. I told you she was horrible, Daddy! Hold up. Why do you need the money for? Helicopters and horses and, oh yeah, charity. <laughs> you are a naughty figure! <laughs> you silly, only a bit of money for you. That's not fair. Ha ha ha! I'll show you. <laughs> Justice, I'm going shopping. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I thought they were shit. If I was their drama teacher, I'd be absolutely ashamed. <laughs> Throw myself in the canal. It's one of the worst acting I've ever seen. <laughs> really bad. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! Boo is right. Uh, We've uh, actually turned this into a fucking panto. <laughs> a story they can handle. This obviously story's got too much grit in it and they don't know how to do it properly. Give them something about a pony and a wolf or something like that that they know where they are. But do you know That's what? They'll have take this and they'll, they'll be allowed to watch it the next day. This. The whole class are going to watch class. it. Little kids, yeah. they're, they're, they're shattered by that guy. Hopefully they'll keep this in and these kids will see this and none of them will grow up and try and be an actor because you're not actors, <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> If you're watching, yeah, kids, it hurts. Merry Christmas, baby you Jesus. Can't yeah. <laughs> handle the truth. Okay, what news story were they reenacting? Some people liked it. I liked it. I thought it was fine. It was Just sweet. Fucking disgrace it was. <laughs> okay, next question. Nothing worse. In March. Kids fucking try to act. Said my acting was any good. <laughs> After one school play, I got hit in the face with a broom. <laughs> by a nun. And I came off, and the nun just went, that was shit! She hit me in the face. Oh, God! Oh, sorry, you have brought up some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. Hey. It's a lot harder than it looks. Yes. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a stroke, dear. Hello. <laughs> Hey, hey, oh. get out of here. No, don't cram. No, no, let's I am Bogdan. <laughs> I like you very much. You are, <laughs> you are an attractive lady. You're too small for me, dear. Oh. If I shot on you and never see you, like this day again. Come with me. I have oyster card. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you moving your lips? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you're going to you any Sean, let's see. <laughs> Sean, let's see if you can do any better. <laughs> Are you hoping we're going to... I'm, I'm not moving my lips. He's, no. whis he's whispering. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you hoping it's a left-handed puppet, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> I'll speak. I'll do... He's poking his... I'm telling you, I'm Pieces of eight. No. Pieces of eight. <laughs> you don't actually have to stretch your mouth. <laughs> I can't do it any other way. I can't do it any other way. Hey! Oh no! Oh, I it. You oh, have. Shit. What oh, is it? 
Talking to, I can't get the talking to you. Oh, you're an idiot. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, it's not, very difficult. It's you have to look like you're listening when you're talking. Uh, you look at her when, when she's talking. <laughs> yes. The first subject tonight is what a TV chef would never say. <laughs> so that's the bird plucked and stuffed. All that remains is to kill it. <laughs> So that's what you can do with the body. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you how to make a cape with the skin. <laughs> I'm Nigella Lawson, and what I love about presenting this program is the knowledge that at home, Frankie Boyle has just about ripped his cock off. <laughs> Here's one I fucked up earlier. <laughs> Welcome to One Fat Lady. <laughs> and here, what you want to do is put a little bit of the brown mixture in the tin and then sprinkle a little bit of hash on the top of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> these Korean meatballs really are the dog's bollocks. <laughs> If you're wondering how to get the perfect skin on your parsnips, then you're mental. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Delia Smith, and today we're going to cook a panda. <laughs> Are we, am I invisible in this fucking jacket? <laughs> I think you... So, I've marinated it for half an hour, seared it for 15 seconds, and now I'm drizzling it on my buttocks. <laughs> you just need two things to make this dish. What you need is a takeaway menu and a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Russian cookery, cyanide, polonium, and a crab stuffed with explosives. <laughs> worth it now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> While you're stuffing the lamb, put your hand over his muzzle so he can't cry for his mother. <laughs> if you don't have chocolate chips, you could just use your own shit. <laughs> this dish requires a little extra salt, so I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> Today, I've been making Coco Van. <laughs> now, I can't pull it out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nigella Lawson. Frank here. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it. A donut like a Boy Scout's arsehole. <laughs> the next topic is... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I got one in. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Ed. Ed, would you Fuck like you. to? <laughs> <laughs> Best man at his wedding, so I was. <laughs> Cunt. <Right. laughs> OK, the next topic is... <coughs> Both feet on the step. <laughs> I haven't got to it yet. I haven't announced the fucking topic. You can't be... <laughs> you can't be rushing in and telling you what it is. Adrian, calm the fuck down. <laughs> but you said if you don't do it, you don't get in. I know. You I can't know. say, oh, calm down, calm down. If you don't, they don't fucking let you. <laughs> I'll calm down here 
on our no, I'll just fucking dear, I'll sit. <laughs> I'll sit down. You sound like a chicken. You're all then, bigger than me anyway. Do you Man, see? this is like the start of Spartacus. Get me a fucking spear. <laughs> Please. Do you... Does, it, does it help if we hop in? <laughs> I can't see that helping in any way whatsoever. <laughs> can we go in order of hair length? Okay. <laughs> you haven't seen my puke. It's like Bob Marley near my wang. <laughs> Please don't let that bit be recorded. <laughs> It's going to be the fucking outtake. Wow. <laughs> All right. Why do columns around the Parthenon look straight? Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I don't think I know this, but I think I'm, I think I'm going to say something embarrassing. Go on. They, they, it gets wider, doesn't it? So that it looks straight, because it's further away at the top. So in order well, to stop it looking like it's tapering, they made it this was the This was the theory for a long time. It's a thing called entasis. That if a column is exactly straight, then from a distance it looks as if it bows inwards. It looks spindly. So the secret is to make it bow slightly outwards. So from a distance it looks elegant and straight. But it turns out this isn't what they did after all. And that... Alan's very first answer, which no, they is they look straight because they are straight. That's not a question. No, I know. It's, it's a... Why does this man not say? Because he is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah. that has taken me on a whole circle, <laughs> a train of thoughts. I'm going, the reason they look straight is because they are. And it's... you're going, this is why I struggled in school. <laughs> It's the queue of If a QI. train travels at 40 miles an hour <laughs> and leaves at 9 o'clock and arrives in Glasgow at 12 o'clock, how did it get there? And you're going, cos it did. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of that. It's the queue of... It's not sort of that. It's very confusing. It's the queue of QI. It is going round in a circle, but with a little twiddly bit at the end. Why does that look straight? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's not. <laughs> that would have been a question. It, it might have been. Why does that look straight? But because it, it is. is. <laughs> Sometimes. Because it is. <laughs> Sometimes things look. It's. Right. <laughs> Please don't be unhappy, Johnny. I'm not. I'm just confused at the start. Fine. <laughs> Let me unconfuse you because the same man. Who discovered? I try. You do. You do. I once spent the night in a bush in Basingstoke. <laughs> David's team. Right. That's a true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Why were you spending the night in a bush in Basingstoke? I missed my train. Where do you live? Uh, well, at the time, I lived in Kettering in Northamptonshire, right. Rose of the Shires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you go to a luxury hotel? Well, David, uh, at the time, I had no money in my wallet at all, and my phone was dead. I had no way of contacting anyone. That certainly adds up. Why a bush? <laughs> Why not a bench or, like, yeah. somewhere warmer than, than a bush? Well, is, a, is a bench warmer than a bush? <laughs> I would say a bush is warmer than a bench. A bench is definitely colder than a bush. It's more exposed. <laughs> There's an old saying... You're warmer in a bush than on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> so, James, you've settled down in the bush yes. and you're lying there, but it's cold. Oh, I'm sitting there. Sitting in the bush? Sitting there, cross-legged and cold. I had a T-shirt on. A How are you going to go to sleep sitting? <laughs> I was scared. What so I, I had it really. Oh, oh, it was Friday night in Basingstoke. There were hoodlums around. <laughs> and all you had on was a T-shirt and jeans. And jeans, of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> I still feel like what? the bench is warmer. <laughs> so did, did anybody hear you in the bush and, and come and? At one point they did. At one point, some hoodlums stopped outside the bush. They said, "You know what? We haven't done in a while. <laughs> we haven't we haven't beaten someone up in a while." <laughs> <laughs> That's how they speak, David. <laughs> Bullies speak like that to each other. And I was in the bush, and I, at the time, I was wearing a red dress. <laughs> what did you say? What? I was wearing a dress by now. What? Why? Why? You said you are in a T-shirt. Originally, I was in a T-shirt, and then I had to put a dress on. <laughs> Why did you put a dress on? Why? It was cold. Where did okay. you get a dress from? I had it in a bag. <laughs> Why? I was, I was making a short film, and I had to buy the wardrobe for the cast. 
<laughs> You're in the bush. The hoodlums had moved on. They didn't beat you up. I tricked them. I put the bag over my head. <laughs> you seriously put the bag over your head? Yeah. yeah. Put yourself in my shoes. They're saying they want to beat someone up. If they look down and see me wearing a dress, it'll be like Christmas. <laughs> so, I put the bag over my head, and now if they look down, they'll think, Some... someone's left a bag and a dismembered body Hang on. in a bush. <laughs> People at home, don't put bags on your heads. No, no. Let's go back yeah. to the temperature of this bush now. <laughs> you said you went into the dress for warmth, but surely the jeans and the T-shirt were warmer than a dress. There's a lot I of don't think... I think, I think to he be said fair, he put the dress on I don't on think over. he took the jeans <laughs> and the T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. oh, he was he did. double. Yeah, no, but he didn't <laughs> slip out of the jeans and the T-shirt, <laughs> fold them up nicely <laughs> at the side, and then get yeah. the dress and put it on and go, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> he wasn't doing that. Oh, right. He's... By the end of the night, he's wearing the jeans, the T-shirt, the dress oh, and, and the, the bag. <laughs> I just say, it's lucky this didn't happen to Melvin, because, if so, he'd have been on a bench wearing a dress and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a guess. Is he telling the truth? Melvin, oh. what do you think? I think, looking at James, I can believe that he could put on a dress with a bag over his jeans and T-shirt, but a man that picks a bush over a bench I can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that basis, it's a lie. Hey. I, I've got to absolutely say it's true. true. I'm believing every element, really. I'm going to go true. True. Yeah. You're saying true. Right. James, was it true or was it a lie? It's true. <laughs> <laughs>